Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Elise. Super happy to see you on the other side of your screen. And for those who've been following me for a while, I'm sorry I haven't posted any video in a while. But you know, summertime and then life happened. But here I am at the wonderful Brussels Yoga Loft. And today you're up for um, a morning flow. I mean, I say morning flow, but you could do it anytime, uh, any time of the day. But I have had some requests for a short morning practice. Uh, so here we go, let's start. So you can find a comfortable uh, seated position. You can find your easy pose, Sukhasana, cross leg, or you can have your ankle parallel to one another. You can grab the muscle of your bum, remove it towards the side, so you have a really good ankle through your sit bones. Roll the shoulders out, open the heart, let the arms be heavy on your abs, and close your eyes for a moment. Let's just take a moment here to settle the breath. Notice the natural flow of your breath without changing anything, without forcing anything. Let the breath be absolutely natural and spontaneous. Take a moment to notice how you're feeling. How you're feeling physically, emotionally, mentally. And anything that doesn't serve you on your yoga mat, you can leave it aside. And maybe you'll come back to it later, or maybe not. You can find a gentle smile on your face. And with every exhale, you can soften. You can soften the body, the face, the shoulders, the arms. the chest, soften the belly. We tend to hold the belly in, release the belly and relax your glutes, your buttocks, your legs, your feet. You can set an intention for your practice today. How do you want to feel? What brings you on your yoga mat? And rather than saying, I want to feel, you can say, I feel. I feel joy, I feel loved, I feel safe, whatever it is. You can repeat it three times, out loud or silently. Now take a deep, deep breath in through the nose. And a big open mouth, exhale to release. And again, deep breath in. Feel the air coming in the nostrils, filling up the chest, the abdomen, and maybe you hold it. And then a big open mass, exhale to release. And as you exhale, you release everything that doesn't serve you. One more time. Deep, deep, deep breath in. The deepest breath in you can. Hold it at the top. It's called Kumbhaka, breath retention. And exhale. Let the breath go back to a simple and natural rhythm.
Now bring your hands to prayer in front of the heart. Join the palms, the fingers and the thumbs and bring the thumbs towards your sternum. Lift a little bit the elbows and feel the space in your armpits. Now rub your hands together, create heat and energy. And then cover your face with your hands and you can feel the energy you've created, the vibrations. And then bring the eyes open, spread your fingers, and release. Good. Let's start with the neck. So we tend to, you know, forget our neck. Thank you, Seko, for reminding me to do a little bit of neck movement. So bring your chin parallel to the floor. Drop the shoulders and your chest is nicely open. Now, as you inhale, you look up. So you stretch the throat and you bring the back of the head towards the upper back. And as you exhale, slowly you bring the chin towards the sternum and you gaze towards the floor and you stretch the back of the neck. Three more like this. As you inhale, lift the gaze up. Don't go too fast. And as you exhale, you bring the chin towards the chest. Nice stretch of the, of the neck. Oh, it feels good. Again, inhale. Send the gaze up. And then exhale. And as you inhale, back to neutral. Now, inhale, look to the right. You bring the, the chin towards the right shoulder. And as you exhale, slowly turn the head to the left. Chin aligned with the shoulder. Two more. Inhale, look to the right. Do that slowly and mindfully. No need to rush. And as you exhale, you go to the left. One last time, inhale to the right. And then exhale to the left. And as you inhale, back to center. Now bring the right hand to the floor and imagine you're holding a tennis ball so you make a little tent with your fingers and you dip the fingers into the, into the earth. Now the left hand comes on the right side of the face and you draw the right, the left ear towards the left shoulder. And you keep pressing the fingers, the right fingers to the floor. Now, if you want a little bit of a deeper stretch, you imagine the hand wants to resist against the hand. So you want to press the head back, but the hands push it again towards the shoulder, if that makes any sense. You can close the eyes. Oh God, that feels good. Breathe, don't hold the breath. Take two more. And on the next inhale, exhale, sorry, you release. Left hand to the floor now, fingertips to the floor, press the fingertips into the floor. And now right hand on the left side of the face. You gently draw the left ear toward the right ear towards the left shoulder. And now if you want a deeper stretch, the head resists and presses back against the hand and the hand push it, pushes it back ah, towards the right shoulder. You got me, right? Close the eyes and take two more deep breaths. And on the next exhale, you can release. Good. You can bring the hands back onto the knees. Now we do neck rotation, three on one side and three to the other. Now, tuck the, the chin to the chest. We start rotating to the right and then to the left. So as you inhale, rotate the head to the right. Right ear, right shoulder. You look up and you exhale to the left. Left ear, left shoulder. You can close the eyes. And you can take two more. You inhale on the way up. You exhale on the way down. Three to the right. And then when you complete your third one, you keep the chin to the chest for a moment. You make sure you haven't lifted the shoulders. And then you inhale to the left. Exhale on the way down to the right. 
and again two more oh and sometimes it's when you do these kind of exercises that you notice that you actually you have actually quite a lot of tension in the neck and then chin to the chest take a moment when you complete your third round drop the shoulders and slowly lift the head good all right now again bring fingertips to the floor long spine it's it's not straight the spine can't be straight we have a natural curve but it's tall and spacious now as you inhale lift the arms above the head the palms touch all the hand touch fingers and thumbs and as you exhale you release you are brushing your aura inhale lift the arms palms up palms touch above the head and as you exhale open the arms slowly bring the fingertips to the floor and one more time inhale lift the arms up palms touch and as you exhale bring the fingertips down good and now slide the hands behind you interlace the fingers join the hands as if you were holding hands with your lover squeeze your shoulder blades find a gentle arch in the lower back open the chest and send your gaze up and maybe you lift the arms from the back they are straight the elbows are straight take a big breath here and as you exhale fall forward bring the crown of the head or the forehead towards the floor arms lift above the head try to keep the heels of the hands together if you can take one more full cycle of breath And on the next inhale, rise up. And release. Oof. Good. And from here, you can find your all four position. Ah, good. Sorry. All right. So in all fours, your wrists are underneath your shoulders. Your knees are under the hips. And the feet, they are flat. They disappear behind the knees. Spread the fingers wide and dig your fingertips into the earth. We'll do a few rounds of cat cow to have a very nice and warm spine. So gaze towards your thumbs or between your thumbs. Now inhale, belly drops, tailbone lifts, lower back arch. Send your gaze up, the elbows are straight. Exhale, press onto the hands, round the upper back, tuck the chin, the tailbone, send the back of your heart towards the ceiling. Two more like this one. Inhale, arch the lower back. Look up, chest opens, collarbone spread, and as you exhale, you round, 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 tuck the chin, press onto the hands, find a bit of core. Last time, inhale, lower back arch, open the chest, look up, and exhale to round. And back to center, inhale, good. Now join the knees together and the calf muscles together and come and sit on your heels. Join the hands in front of you, revolve the palms, find your long spacious spine, look right ahead. Now as you inhale, come on the knees, straighten the arms up, look, keep looking forward. And as you exhale, sit on your heels, hand to the knees. Two more, inhale, lift, stretch. And as you exhale, release. Try to breathe in and out through the nose all the time. One more time. Inhale to lift. And exhale to release. Release the arms. Come and stand on your knees. Now make sure you at the back of your mat, you stand up tall. Shoulders, hips, and knees. Now lean onto the right knee so you can make a big step with your left foot forward. As you inhale, lift the arms above the head, join the palms, release the index, and as you exhale, you sink the hips low and forward. Now, sometimes we have a little bit of, uh, what do you call it, um, sensitive knee, so you can make a little padding underneath the right knee. And really nicely use the breath to go down. You inhale, you find the length, and as you exhale, maybe you can release the hips a little bit closer. 
to the floor. And now if you want, you can find a gentle back bend here, bringing the fingertips towards the back of the mat, opening the chest. Take two more breaths here. One more breath. Inhale. Exhale, release the hands to the floor towards the left foot. Inhale, look forward. And as you exhale, bring the hips back and straighten the left leg. Now you, you maybe want to move the hands towards the middle of the mat. Flex the left foot and stay, hip ni stay here nice and tall. So your, your chest is open. You gaze towards the short edge of the mat and you feel a really good stretch in the back of the leg. Inhale here, exhale back forward, bring the hands forward, tuck the toes of the back foot, lift the back knee here, inhale, exhale, find your high plank, bring your left toes towards your right toes, press onto the hands, your wrists are right underneath the shoulders, you, get, you engage the core, the glutes, the quads, you can set your knees into the floor if you need to, which stay here for two more breaths, building a little bit of fire in the belly, called Agni. Now bring your knees to the floor, shift the weight forward so the shoulders go past the wrist, inhale here, exhale, bend the elbows in, hug the ribcage, chin chest to the floor, the bum is lifted, and now slide the legs onto the floor. And as you inhale, you find Cobra. Now, maybe your Cobra is here, and this is a really good Cobra. As long as the elbows are bent, push to the, towards the back. Or maybe you have a higher Cobra. Doesn't really matter. We want just here to have a nice flexion of the spine, but stay gentle with the body, especially if you do this practice early morning. Now, inhale here. As you exhale, release to the floor. Bring the hands under the shoulders, press onto the knees and find child's pose. So you bring the hips towards the heels, you extend the arms forward. Let's find a very active child's pose. So the elbows are lifted, forehead to the floor, hands are about shoulder distance apart. And you breathe through the upper back. One more deep breath. Then slide the hands towards the knees, lift the torso, and sit on your heels. And we do that to the other side. But first, interlace fingers in front of you, revolve the palms. Again, three times lifting onto the knees. Look right ahead. Inhale, stand onto the knees, lift the arms up. And exhale to release. In and out through the nose. Inhale to lift. Exhale, release. One more time. Inhale to lift. And exhale, release. Release the hands. Now come and stand on your knees. Shoulders, hips and knees. You can lean on to the left. Make a big step with the right foot forward. Inhale, lift the arms above the head. Interlace the hands, release the index, and as you exhale, sink the hips low and forward. Again, don't hesitate to make a little bit of a panning underneath the left knee if you need to. Make sure the right knee is above the right ankle and not beyond. Shoulders are nicely relaxed, chest is open, and you use the exhale to go a little deeper into this hip stretch. As you inhale, you find length. As you exhale, you find depth. And then if you'd like, you can find a gentle back bend by leaning back, bringing the fingertips towards the back of the room, opening the heart. And deep breath. One more. And then inhale. Exhale, release the hands, bring them towards the right foot. Look forward, inhale, and as you exhale, straighten the front leg for a half split. Move the hands towards the, towards the middle of the mat. Keep your chest straight. Flex the right foot strongly. 
Don't squeeze your ears and your shoulders. Keep a lot of space. Feel a good stretch in the back of the right leg. Oh, it feels good, doesn't it? Now, as you inhale, come back forward. Move the hands forward. Tuck the toes of the left foot. Lift the left knee. Look forward. Inhale. Exhale. Find your high plank. Let's hold high plank here for three more breaths. Press onto the hands. Stack the heels above the toes. The shoulders above the hips. Squeeze the belly, the bum, and the glutes. But now, and the quads, make sure you bring the knees onto the floor if you need to. One more breath. Now bring the knees to the floor. Shift the weight forward. Bend the elbows in. Chin chest to the floor. Ashtanga Asana. Slide the legs onto the floor. And as you inhale, find your cobra. Now listen. Exhale. Look over the right shoulder for a gentle twist. Look towards your, your heels. Inhale back to center. And as you exhale, twist to the left. One more time. Inhale, center. Exhale, twist to the right. Inhale to the center. And exhale, twist to the left. Inhale, center. And exhale, release to the floor. Forehead to the floor. Now, tuck the toes of, the, of your feet, obviously. Lift the knees. As you inhale, you press into a plank or you can use your knees. And as you exhale, we meet in our first downward dog. There won't be many in this practice. Make sure you walk it out. You can pedal out through the feet. Move the hips side to side. Gaze underneath the arm, pedal underneath the other. Mm. Take any movement that you like in this downward dog and see how it feels. Notice the breath and then come to stillness. So just a little reminder, downward dog is all about stretching the spine. So if your heels don't touch the floor, it really doesn't matter. What you can do is lift the heels and bend the knees, bend the knees so you have a really good stretch in the spine. You press the floor away from you so your fingers are widely open. Your navel is towards the spine and your feet are by the hip systems. And you gaze towards the back of the mat so your neck is long and free. Now send the gaze forward towards the hands and nicely walk your, your feet towards your hands. When you reach the top of the mat, inhale, press the heart forward into your halfway up. So the weight is towards the toes, you stack the hips on top of the heels, shoulder blades are gently squeezed, your chest is really nicely open. Take an inhale. And as you exhale, release in your forward fold. You can even find ragdoll pose by grabbing opposite elbows, swaying side to side, releasing the neck and the head. And know that during the day, anytime you feel a bit stressed, you can always find ragdoll pose. It's really good to release stress and tension. I often say it, but the head loves to be below the heart. Now find stillness, release the elbows if you had them in your hands. Bend the knees a little bit, press onto the feet and slowly unroll your spine. Vertebra by vertebra until you come to standing and find your mountain pose. Good. So find your mountain pose. Bring your big toes to touch, separate your heels. Arms alongside the body and activate your arms. Activate the fingers, activate the thumbs. You really want to let the energy flow free. You can lift the kneecaps, engage your quads, tilt the pelvis forward, draw the navel to the spine, shoulders are out and back, chest open, your gaze is forward with a smile on your face always. And the crown of the head reaches high to the sky. Now as you inhale, circle the arms up, palms touch, look towards your hands. And as you exhale, fall forward in your Uttanasana, forward fold, release the head, bend the knees so the hands touch the floor. Now inhale, halfway up, stretch the heart forward. Crown of the head reaches towards the front of the room, 
and as you exhale, fold Uttanasana. Bend into the knees, circle the arms up, find your tall mountain, Urva Astasana, palms join. Now reverse the motion, exhale, swan dive, forward fold, Uttanasana. Release the head, from uh, the forehead towards the shins. Inhale into your halfway up, shoulder blades together, heart is open. And exhale to fold. Little bend into the knees. Inhale, swipe the arms up. Palms touch above the head. One last time. Exhale, open the arms. Swan dive. Brush your aura. Forehead towards the shin. Uttanasana. Inhale into your halfway up. And exhale to fold. Little bend into the knees. Inhale, swipe the arms up. And exhale to the heart and release. <sighs> Good, take a moment here. Feel maybe a bit of energy in the fingertips, in the arms, in the legs. Notice the breath. Good, open the eyes if they were closed and now make a big step back and come to, the, to face the, the long edge of your mat. So you want to first put your clothes back, back good. All right, open the legs as wide as a leg. So imagine you could set a leg in between your legs. Bring the hands behind you. Interlace fingers, squeeze shoulder blades, open the heart, long spine. And as you exhale, fall forward. Crown of the head reaches towards the floor, the arms up and above the head the weight towards the toes and feel a good stretch in the hips, the inner thigh, the back of the legs, the shoulders. Isn't it amazing? One more full second of breath. Now as you inhale, rise up, press onto the feet. Lift the arms above the head, palms touch. And exhale, hands to the heart. Now keep your arms where they are, but open the feet so the toes are pointing towards the shoulder edge of the mat. Take an inhale here, and as you exhale, bend the knees and find your prayer squat. You can find a little bit of movement here. Side to side, sink a little deeper. Pelvis is forward, don't hinge back. Let's take one more breath. And then press onto the feet, straighten the legs, lift the arms above the head, inhale. And exhale to release. Good. Now heel to the feet until they come about shoulder distance apart. And make sure the toes are still pointing out. Bring the hands to the hips, inhale. And as you exhale, bend the knees and find your squat. Yogi squat. Now sometimes it's hard to be on the heels, so you can be on your toes. You can also roll the mat or bring a towel behind your heels. Now knees, uh, elbows inside of the knees. Press the knees away, but the knees resist. So you find a really good stretch here. Feel the space between the armpits. Hands together, sternum forward. And again here, you can find a little bit of movement here. If you're gonna be seated the whole day, it's amazing to do a little bit of, a, of this yogic squat malasana once in a while. Good, take one more breath. Now release, you can bring the hands behind you so you can come back to seated. You can bend the knees, feet flat onto the floor. Arms extended, tuck the chin and slowly unroll your spine, vertebra by vertebra. And then bring your knees to your heart, give yourself a big hug. You can roll to the side, massaging a little bit the lower back. And then back to neutral, blend the feet into the floor. And we'll do a very gentle, three, three very gentle bridge pose. So make sure that you can touch your heels, your thighs are parallel, they don't touch, your knees are parallel and your feet are nicely flat and hip distance. Now ground the arms onto the floor and the hands. Activate the arms, the hands and the feet. Press onto the feet, inhale, lift the hips up. 
And as you exhale, slowly unroll the spine, vertebra by vertebra, onto the mat. Two more. Press onto the feet, inhale, unroll the spine, bring the hips up, release the glutes, maybe go a little higher this time. And as you exhale, release. One more time, inhale to lift. Stay here, exhale. Now we'll stay here for three breaths. The arms are still flat onto the floor. You can gently tuck the chin, gaze towards the navel. One more full cycle of breath. Inhale. And exhale and roll the spine. Nicely and softly. Good. Now open your arms in a T. Open the feet as wide as the mat. Separate the knees so the knees are also widely open. We'll take a few twists from a couple of twists from here. Inhale in center. Exhale the knees go to the right and your gaze goes to the left. You should feel a good stretch in your left quad. Deep breath. Remember when we twist, we want to breathe very deeply. Take two more cycles of breath. You can close the eyes, notice the sensations. And on the next inhale, bring the knees back to center as well as the head. And as you exhale, knees to the left, gaze to the right. Two more deep cycles of breath. And then inhale the knees back to center. Bring the arms alongside the body again before a short Shavasana. Let's find a happy baby pose. Bring the knees towards the chest. Open the knees, widen into thoracic, thoracic cage. Arms inside of the legs. Grab your big toes, maybe the inner arches of the feet or even the ankle. Your shins are vertical, your feet parallel to the floor and you gently press the knees towards the floor. Now keep the lower back onto the floor. Don't lift the lower back. And if you can't reach the feet, you can reach for the calf muscles or the anchors. Now, if you feel like it, you can straighten the legs, or maybe not, or maybe one at a time. And we'll take two more breaths here. And then if you have your legs straight, bring the, bend the knees again, release your grip, hug your knees into the chest and create a little bit of tension here. So you can lift the upper back, the lower back, and you can squeeze yourself into a little bow. Shrug the shoulders to the ears, squeeze the eyes, squeeze the forehead, squeeze, 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 squeeze. And then inhale. And as you exhale, slowly find Shavasana. Just a few moments. I know it's always tempting to skip Shavasana, but it is so important to take a moment here to let the body integrate the practice. Let the body record the new information. So you can give yourself permission to find relaxation for just a few minutes. Let the feet flip to the side, the legs soften, release your buttocks, your hips, release your belly, your chest, let your shoulders melt into the earth, your back relax your arms, your hands, your fingers and your thumbs. Soften your neck and your throat. 
Let the mouth be a little bit open to relax the jaw. Relax the eyes behind the eyelids. The forehead is as spacious as the sky. And see if you can relax, relax your scalp. Notice how easy it is to be in your body right now. Keep a very gentle awareness to your breath. The abdomen rising as you inhale. Gently falling as you exhale. Now take a deep breath to awaken the heart. And exhale. One more time, deep breath. And exhale. Wiggle your fingers and your toes. Reach the arms behind you to take a deep stretch. Mm. Keep the arms behind you. Bend the knees, bring the feet flat onto the floor and now turn to the side. And from here, very gently, with the support of the hands, come back to a seated position with your legs crossed, keeping your eyes closed, keeping the attention within for just a few moments. Notice how you're feeling now, physically, emotionally, and mentally. Feel the space that you've created. Bring the hands again to prayer in front of the heart, lifting the elbows a little bit, fingers together, palms and thumbs together. Sternum, the thumbs, touching the sternum and come back to your intention and again repeat it three times and now to close the practice we'll chant together the peace mantra Aum Shanti 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 you can exhale now inhale deeply to chant. Om Shanti 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 Inhale and exhale. May there be peace in your thoughts, peace in your words and peace in your hearts. Namaste. Thank you everyone. Thank you for joining this practice. I really hope you enjoyed it. Don't hesitate to leave me a comment. You can find me on social media. You can find me in Brussels on Saturday morning in the park. You can find me here on Monday evening at the Brussels Yoga Loft. And there is one spot left for our um, camps, your... Uh, yoga, surf and trek on Canary Island in Lanzarote in October. All details below. I wish you a beautiful day if you've taken this practice in the morning, a beautiful afternoon or a beautiful evening and I send you much love and much light. Thank you for practicing with me and I will see you next time. Bye!